Good morning and welcome to the next video of theory of computation. In this video, we are going to consider different examples on design of non-deterministic finite automata. So let us begin with the first example. To design a non-deterministic finite automata that accepts strings over A and B, which starts with A, B, A. Thus, the language that will be accepted by the DFA will be L equals to A, B, A, A, B, A, 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 B, A, B, A, A, B, A, 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 and so on. This shows that the string starts with A, B, A, and later it can have any combination of A, B in this string, right? So, uh, to design a DFA or NFA of such type, we just consider the minimum length string and the minimum string will be ABA. So the length of the string here is 3. So we should start from the initial state, read the string and reach a final state. For that purpose, we make the uh, number of states equals to 1 more than the length of the string. So here there are 3 uh, alphabets or the length of the string first string is 3. So we'll make 4 states as Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. From this, the first state shall be the initial state and the last state shall be the final state. Right. Then we add a transition on each input from one state to another such that after reading APA, you reach the final state. So from Q0 on reading A, the transition is to Q1. On Q1, when we get B, the transition is to Q2. And on Q2, on getting A, we reach the final state Q3. So when the string starts with ABA, at the end on Q3, there can be multiple inputs like A or B or any combination of A and B. So we'll add a self transition from Q3 to Q3 on the input AB. Now this produces a string which will always start with ABA. So this is a NFA because we have not add, added the transition from Q0 on input B or uh, from Q1 on input A and from Q2 on input B. This can be skipped in case of NFA. So this is the required NFA which can also be represented in the transition table as follows. So Q0 on A goes to Q1, whereas Q0 on B, there is no transition, so we represent it with phi. Q1 on A, there is no transition, so we represent it with phi. And Q1 on B goes to Q2. Q2 on A goes to Q3, there is no transition from Q2 on input B. From Q3 on A, then the transition is to Q3, and Q3 on B goes to Q3. Here Q0 is the initial state and Q3 is the final state. Now let us design another NFA uh, to accept the strings over A and B that ends with ABA. Now the string that will end with ABA will again consist of ABA, then it will start with BABA, it may have BBABA, it may start with ABB and ABA, it may start with ABABA and so on. So the string can start with anything, any combination of A or B, but A, B, A, uh, A or B, but at the end it should consist of A, B, A. The last three characters shall be A, B, A. So in this case also we will uh, find the length of the minimum string. So the minimum string will be A, B, A. The length is 3. So we will make 4 states. Again the first state shall be the initial and the last state shall be the final state. We again add the transition from Q0 to Q3 on reading ABA. Now, here to make a NFA, you can simply add transition on Q0 for A and B and then you can accept whenever there will be a transition. So you can keep it as it is. Just by making a transition on Q0 on A and B, you can read any combination of AB um, from Q0, Q0, Q0 and then when the last ABA is read, you will make a transition from Q0 to Q1 on A, from Q1 to Q2 on B and from Q2 to Q3. That is the final state on the last day. Otherwise, you can add like this or else you can add a transition. This can also be made, that is not compulsion, but this is a correct NFA that can also be modified as from Q1, you can get a A as input. So if you get A as input from Q1, the transition should be a state such that after that you should be able to read BA so as to move to the final state so that ABA will be the last string. So we make a transition from Q1 on A to Q1 itself. Right. On Q2, you can read a B, but you should go to a state such that after that, uh, when again you read 
ABA, then only you will be able to reach a final state. Right. So in Q2, if you get a B, you should make a transition to a state such that after that state, you should be able to reach ABA to reach final state. So we'll make a transition to Q0. This is that state. Then in Q3, you may get AB as input, but when A is the input, so it will make a change in the acceptance. So whenever there is a A as input in Q3, you should go to a state such that they, there shall be the next input BA, then only it will reach a final state. So in Q3, if A is the input, so it should go to Q1 so that after that when it reads BA again, then only it will reach the final state. So the last string will be B A B A. Right. If B is the input in Q3, then A B A must be read. So if you get a B in Q3, then it should go to a state such that after that on reading A, it should go to a final state. So that state is Q2. So we make a transition on B from Q3 to Q2. Right. So this is the required NFA uh, for accepting the string which ends with ABA. The transition diagram equivalent to this is given by this table or transition table is given by this table. Thank you. In the next class we will see conversion of NFA to DFA.